friends, myself, Professor Lok Patel from IG Institute of Engineering and Technology Automobile Engineering Department. So we are in continuing with subject vehicle dynamics and today we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter 3 tire mechanics in which we will study about all the tire behaviors with respect to the performance of the car. So let us begin with the basic topics related with the tire. So in that particular uh, lecture we will see about the tire construction that uh, there, there are several types of tires that we are using nowadays like radial tire, bias tire is there, what are the function of that particular tire and which tire is best suitable to drive depending upon the individual's requirement and condition. Second that is the size and load rating. There are several types of uh, uh, tires that we are using also that is depending upon the again different kind of load that has to be carried by that particular tire third that is the terminology and axis system so uh, as like uh, in previous lecture we, we have seen about the different axis system with respect to uh, planes so again we are going to discuss uh, here with respect to tire for that particular axis system and fourth, there are several protective properties that we have to keep in our mind regarding tires. So let us begin with the first topic that is tire construction. So basically, we will see about the tire construction with respect to functions. Like what are the functions that has to be carried by tire? First and most important supports vertical load. As we all know that there are uh, so much, uh, there are so much load that has been placed in particular trucks or buses so that uh, prior function of that particular tire that is support vertical load. Second is the develop longitudinal forces for accelerating and braking. So as you know as we accelerate or brake that particular vehicle it has to uh, supply, it has to take power from that engine and delivers to that tire and the tire's responsibility is to move uh, from that individual distance okay also for braking purpose also third that is the develops rotor force or cornering uh, we will know about that the, if uh, i'm going to turn my vehicle left or right several forces has been applied that are called lateral forces that we will see later on so basically if we are talking about the construction of the tire we will find there are two types of tires are there radial tires and bias tire and uh, these tires are having different construction than each other uh, like uh, placement of that plies strength several bits that are using for individual purposes so according to the construction these two are the types that we are going to use uh, nowadays that are radial tires and bias tires Moving further, if we are talking about the size and load rating. So here one typical diagram is there in which you will find all the specifications or data that we required to analyze or to purchase the new tire. Here one code that is given 21560R60. So now we all know that 215 that is the width of the tire, 60 is the aspect ratio, R is for radial tire and 60 that is the uh, diameter in each okay so that is 21560 r and 60 now that is my overall size of that tire if i'm talking about temperature and traction so for that uh, here you can see that one code has been given like trade wear grade is there like which kind of trades that we are using that is also mentioned over that tire also the traction and temperature that can uh, resist up to that is uh, given also also here you will find a speed rating that is t the t uh, shows the speed rating also 94 that is my load index that how much capacity uh, of that individual tire to carry individual loads and last one that is the manufacturing date or year uh, so these information that has been provided for individual tires and uh, for our study, we have only a uh, few of them that are very useful like 21560R16 that is the main specification for that tire. Now let us uh, move 
to the terminology and access system now here you can see that one diagram uh, and which here you will find the uh, tire is there and also uh, you will find tire plane so the tire plane is in between the tire also tire axis is there x axis y axis z axis uh, ground plane has been shown alpha angle gamma angle that has been given here several forces like fx fy fz forces there moment mx my and mz is there so let us see one by one what are the different terms and how to define individual terminology for that particular tire axis system so let us begin with the first that is wheel plane so wheel plane we are going to say that the central plane of the tire that is normal to the axis of rotation in the previous peak uh, uh, you you have seen that a central plane is there and also the axis of rotation is there so that is normal to that axis of the rotation that we can call wheel plane second that is wheel center now that is the intersection of the spin axis and wheel plane so that is my wheel center third that is the center of tire contact so for that we have intersection of that wheel and the projection of the spin axis on road plane so here we are talking about the road plane considering about so particular that point we can call it as center of tire contact fourth is a longitudinal force that is called fx so that is the component of the force acting on tire by the road in plane of road and parallel to the intersection of the wheel plane which uh, with the road plane uh, in figure you can learn it easily same way as fy and fz that is lateral force and normal force can be defined overturning moment that is mx that moment that is acting on the tire by the road in the plane of that road and parallel to the intersection of the wheel plane with the road plane so same as rolling resistance my and mz is there so these are the basic terminology and definitions can be asked last two uh, are slip angle that is alpha now that is the angle between the direction of wheel heading and the direction of travel here you can see that these two are the different direction first direction we can call it as wheel heading and the second direction that is the travel direction of travel and the angle between them are called is called slip angle and the final that is the camber angle gamma now that is the angle between the wheel plane and the vertical axis so that we can call it as gamma now let us see one most important term that we will uh, use in future uh, uh, also like slip uh, we all know that acceleration and braking force that are generated by producing differential between the tire rolling speed and its actual speed of travel so particular that is called slip uh, in uh, equation now we can write at write like slip is equal to 1 minus rw into rw by v into 100 here r that is the effective rolling radius of the tire w is the angular velocity and capital v that is the forward velocity in simple language we can see that the we can say that the if i'm going to apply the brake the tire is about to lock itself and due to that the distance is covered a uh, more comparing with the without slip so that is called slip uh last and final topic that is called tractive properties so again here you can see that the travel direction has been given the tire is there and here you can see that the contact length so the contact length that is depending upon the speed also the road surface uh and acceleration and braking now if you are talking about the different uh, friction force and slip here you will find that the uh, slip uh, friction force is very high in dry ground as we all know that uh, the braking is very effective in dry road compared with wet road and ice so the friction force that is very high at dry road uh, medium in wet road and very less in ice area so for that particular slip uh, is going to be same like at in initial level at dry road the slip is very less 
compare to other two formats so these are the basic terms that we have to keep in our mind so that is all about today's lecture we will see uh, more analysis on our tire and different coronary properties thank you